Hey, hey, what is up everyone in the YouTube world? We're back with another video. I'm gonna try and get a little more volume together and put out a little more content on here as much as I can. Um, but I'm making a video because my Saucony Triumphs are done. They're destroyed, they're ran to the ground and back um, not actually destroyed but you know we're gonna be using them as more of like a fallback because I've put probably too many miles on them at this point and I can't really afford to you know constantly buy new shoes like that I don't make that kind of money um, but what I wanted to do today was bring you a review, unboxing, let you know progress, what I'm doing, um, and kind of show you what I just got. Um, I did this last time when I bought the last pair. I'll show you. Literally have them on still. But I had the Saucony Triumph 18. And these things are, yeah, there's no tread left. <laughs> um, I literally like there's a hole in the heel but um, regardless that's beside the point they did very well I ran seven races in these things so far um, just started doing races a few months ago and I've been trying to do one a month um, anyone that's followed me and my story and everything knows pretty much what I've been doing. Um, I try and post daily motivational stuff. Just kind of try and keep the post going to keep you motivated. Um, a little bit of accountability in there as well. But today, we just ran to Charlotte Running Company. Because I like to support local as much as I can. Um and went and picked up some new shoes um tried a bunch on again these just uh, i can't they just felt right um i try to try a bunch of different brands and i just grab whatever sticks out to me what feels best on my foot um you know i do a little bit of movement in the story while I got them on tried a few different kinds and well this is what I ended up getting um so like I said my triumphs did me well they were great I'm still using them because I'm going to use them more as like a daily trainer kind of thing now and when I'm really doing footwork speed that whole kind of stuff I'm going to be using these new ones that I got to try and lessen the miles on them. Just because, like I said, you know, running shoes aren't really cheap. Um, and the amount of running that I do now, um, running and walking combined, you know, I got to gotta make sure that my feet are good. It, it really helps with just the longevity of my knees, my legs. Um and i was using just regular old shoes before and this is just personally speaking they weren't bad or anything you know just normal sneakers but they were more for flashy they were more for you know showing off and going out and dressing up and trying to match outfits and stuff like that these are i guess you could consider this more of a tool than anything um you you know what's what's a what's a carpenter without his hammer and nails you know now i am far from a professional i am not a doctor none of that kind of stuff i just do what works for me and what helps me progress the best that it can and what helps just overall recovery and everything um and I can say without a doubt, since I started wearing actually running shoes to run 
and walk and just basically get all of my miles traveled daily in, it has helped tremendously. So with that being said, went today, picked up some new ones and what I ended up getting, um, and like I said, I tried a few different kinds again, some new, you know, a couple brands dropped some new things and they just didn't feel as good on my foot. I tried the, uh, Altria, I can't remember the, the, the model of them, but the problem I was having was the inside of my heel kind of kept dipping to the left some and it was it would make my leg kind of buckle inward some what i ended up getting though and felt the best for me was and i'm not trying to stick with the same thing but i ended up getting another pair of sockenies this time though um since i have a little bit of running in under my belt seven races i kind of understand a little more what i need what my body needs what works best for me because when it comes down to it that's what that's what it's about you know what works best for me now Sakani again had another home run for me out of the park um I tried these on first and was blown away. Um, and some of the other ones just didn't feel as good, like I said. Now, what did I get? Well, I ended up getting the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2. Um, you look inside, Speed Roll Technology. What I can say about these is the first pair I had, my Triumphs. Now, you probably shouldn't put a thousand plus miles in on your shoes if you're running, but again, I don't have money to just throw at shoes constantly. Um, bills and other things are what need to get done first and foremost, but I ended up getting these and couple of things that really stuck out when I tried them on were the following. Um, first and foremost, let me take out the guts in there. One of the big things, a little bit of a drawback of the triumphs that I have are I noticed that my feet, you know, your feet sweat. And with the summer here and everything, they're not extremely What's the word I'm looking for? They, you know, it's not it's not a very breathable shoe. Now with these, these I can I mean you can see they are. There's a lot of mesh there. I don't know exactly what the material is, but as soon as you look inside, you could see like I don't know if you can see it very well. Yeah, you can. See that? All that that's that's breathable. Um, but the biggest thing that stuck out for me was when I put these on and I would step, it almost felt like they were, I can see why they call it speed roll technology because it almost makes you feel like it's making your foot roll forward. Um, they're not too crazy bendable here. But like I said, like your foot hits and it's not a lot of, it doesn't feel like you have to do a whole lot of pushing off. You know what I mean? Whereas my Triumph, you can see like there's, there's a bit of a difference between the curvature in the front. Now, these were a little, you know, flatter in the beginning and look at that. You can see there's a bit of a difference there. These have a little bit more of an angle in the front like that. Um, and then me putting them side by side, you can see how beat these are. Um, but 
this is just the initial unboxing and review. Um, I can't say a whole lot about them just yet because I haven't had a chance to really put them through their paces. It's just, you know, a try on in the store. You can't go running 100 miles in the store with them. Um, but I try and do things a little bit differently. I don't want to follow the same routine that I've seen <clears throat> a few different um, YouTube personalities who are runners, you know, in the running space. I don't want to follow exactly the same kind of routine that I see. So what I'll do is we'll try them out. I'll let you know what I think after we get our first real run in with them. So we'll do an initial run and review. And after we get, I don't know, probably 100 miles in-ish. So maybe two weeks of running. We'll do another look back and see just how they're, how they're holding up, how they're faring for me. Um, now, again, are these going to be the best for you? I don't know. I really don't know. I didn't think that Saucony were going to be such a home, uh, home run for me. Um, but I can say, this is the second pair I bought, and that's after me trying a whole bunch. They aren't are not as soft inside as my triumphs are my triumphs are basically like walking on clouds but they're a little heavier um now that's not to say that these aren't soft i mean these things are pretty soft too but we're gonna get some miles in and after we do i'll be back let you know what i think um We'll take these out for a spin. I'll take it, you know, not a crazy long run, but, and also because, you know, I'm still, honestly, I'm still working my way up to being able to do longer and longer and longer um, runs. Uh, but anyway, pretty awesome. And I'll catch you guys and girls and everyone in between later with a follow-up.